Hey people, it's Sam from Albany Hunt Productions. Um, I'm sorry about that last video. It was um, ended very abruptly. Um, I happened to drill my hand in multiple places and just was kind of taking a little break from um, major labor. So um, yeah, I'll show you that wound. It um, doesn't look that bad, but I have on that side of my hand and on that side at this point and I wanted to show you guys some of the projects I'm working on. So, yeah. I guess um, here I have, um, this is actually the entrance to my bathroom um, normally, but um, I just, I made this clown head for the entrance to the, um, the carnival tent, and it's, um, yeah, just pretty basic. Took less than an hour, and I'm pretty excited about it, and it's a great way to enter your bathroom. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll show you guys some of my other projects when I get to the backyard. Asta. Hey, peoples. Um, now I'm going to show you um, the pneumatic rising platform I'm working on um, for our main character, the Sandman. Um, he's going to have like a little pre-show in the child's room, and he'll... Either the entire bed or a little section of the bed will levitate um, 33 inches from the ground with him on it. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys the system I have. So essentially, I have this up above ground portion. This is about 18 inches from here to here. And then I have an underground section that will be in a part I've dug up and that is um, approximately 24 inches. Um, underground, so I have a 24 inch hole I dug, and um, yeah, there's a massive pneumatic cylinder situated inside of there that I purchased on the eBay for a pretty reasonable price. And yeah, right now I'm working on um, creating a mounting system. Sorry, you can't see that at all. Um, but I have some nuts and some washers and a plate of metal. Um, on there, and these 2x4s are just temporary. I was sitting on it to make sure it could lift my weight. can do that easily. This cylinder can lift 400 pounds. It's 2 inch bore, 33 inch stroke. And I just, um, I wanted to encase it in the wood because I didn't really have any way to mount it. And also, I didn't want it underground getting all damaged down there. So, um, yeah. I've done some testing. I might, um, if I have that video, I'll insert it of me flying up and down. So yeah. Hello peoples, I wanted to show you um, the High Striker I've been working on. The High Striker is the name for one of those carnival games where you hit the thing with a stick, uh, with like a, uh, a thing with a mallet, and then the little thing comes up and tries to hit a bell. I have pretty much everything but the bell, which will be in place of the clown's nose. Um, so yeah, it's just three quarter inch plywood construction, had some scrap. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is the, um, corn dog stand I've been working on. It has clowns on it. Nice. Everybody likes clowns. For the, um, little carnival area. Um, yeah, made some great stuff. Corn dogs. Is there nothing that, that material can't do? Yet to be discovered, I guess. Um, and this is, like, some pretty top-notch like home hunter gone wild stuff right here. Great stuff and um, white beaded foam to, um, this is gonna be a popcorn maker here. And um, there's gonna be a severed head right in the center there of it. So um, yeah, it, at night it looks really reasonable, but in the day, not so much. Um, yeah, um, on to show you my next project. I have also been working on the restoration of my um, fireplace that um, we made last year. It's um, so far I've just painted in the grout lines. I didn't have any red paint to repaint the bricks. But um, yeah, if you guys are interested in how that went together, um, just shoot me a comment. I can give it. It was uh, um, definitely, I would not recommend making it the way I did. But um, yeah learn from my mistakes. I've also been um, working on um, finishing up some tombstones. This one here got messed up, gotta fix that. 
Um, but, you know, this one's a little over dry brush. But yeah, working on finishing some tombstones. That'll just be in the front. Because it's hard for people to tell there's a haunted house when it's all in your backyard. So, um, yeah, those are some of the tombstones. White beaded foam. For some reason, around here nobody sells pink foam. Yeah. Here is the last project I have to show you guys for this video. It is, um, my carnival tent. It's pretty much just, um, framed out at this point. PVC. Need some more framing. I'm gonna do some... Let me get back there and show you what I'm doing. Cross braces from there to there. Um, yeah, and I think that'll sturdy it up, because right now, it's got quite a bit of wobble. Weeble wobble. So, um, hopefully that'll work. And I'm planning on covering it with a parachute because I don't want to make a fabric top for it. It's octagonal, 12 feet across. More information on that in my plans video. Asta. And happy hunting.